Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Deacon in Christ, and all the clergy and lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the present, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life through Christ our God. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Desiree, he is this Theotokos, Father, so son in the Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Praise the Lord of my soul, I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. 
Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. So, so, ni masigeteu, kawanasta seknekron, salondasi alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are a good God, for you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blessed is the entrance of your holy ones always now and ever to the ages of ages. <laughs> Wisdom arise. Come, let us worship and bow down to Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who arose from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. From on high you descended, O merciful one, and accepted the three-day burial to free us from our passions. Glory to you, O Lord, our life and resurrection. Your church is arrayed in the holy blood of your martyrs who witness throughout the world as though in purple and fine linen. Through them she cries to you, Christ our God. Send down to your people your tender love. Grant peace from above to your commonwealth 
and to our souls your great mercy. O ensarcos angelos ton profiton ikritpis, o defteros prodromos tis parosias Christu, Ilias o endoxos, anothen katapemsas eliseo tin harin, nosus apodioki ke leprus katharizi, Διό και τη σημώση αυτών βρίαματα. Together, please, the apolitikion of our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy God, you dwell among your saints, your praise by the seraphim of the thrice holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim, worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being and woman, woman in your image and likeness, Lord, and with all the gifts of your grace. The wisdom and understanding of the supplicant do not overlook the sinner, but establish repentance as a way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar, to offer you worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy name also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant them worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. Sessions of the Holy Theotokos, the Holy Seed, so please do throughout the ages. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, we sing. Holy God, we sing. Holy God,
Dinami. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Wisdom. Brethren, all the saints through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to fight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release, that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mockering and scourging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, they were killed with a sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. And all of these, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had foreseen something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of whiteness, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus the pioneer and the perfection of our faith. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, Everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny him before my Father who is in heaven. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Then Peter said in reply, Lo, we have left everything and followed you. What then shall we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man shall sit on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my namesake, will receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. But many that are first would be last, and the last first. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Let's be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, and for those of you here for the first time in a long time, welcome back. A 40-year-old man, let's call him Tim, was a patient of an Orthodox Christian therapist and counselor, Dr. Al Rossi. According to Dr. Rossi, Tim suffered from obsessive-compulsive disorder, 
and he couldn't seem to do much of anything productive with his life. He suffered bouts of depression, during which he would cry for hours on end, feeling like his inner self was immersed in darkness. He also regularly battled suicidal thoughts. That's not the kind of person you would think would be a model for a sermon on the Sunday of All Saints. But his story touched me so much the first time I read it, it's exactly what I'm going to do. There was really nothing remarkable about Tim's life. He walked the dog, he read books, occasionally he went to church, and sometimes he dabbled in internet gambling and pornography. For the most part, his life was filled with boredom and loneliness. His self-image was so low that when the therapist asked him what image he saw when he looked at his own life, he said he felt like a sponge that sucks in and gives little back out since he thought he had little to give to others. Eventually, with some good therapy and counseling, he found ways to improve his life, his relationship with others, and his faith in God. He was not always saintly, but he was certainly striving. As his story goes, one night he came across a free coupon to gamble some small amount of money at a local casino. That is, way, by the way, not on the list of recommended activities for a saintly life. I just want to make that totally clear. He decided to give it a try, but wisely also had decided not to take any money or a credit card with him. So his plan was just to go, pass some time gambling this free money away, and then leave. God had other plans. On his way to the casino, Dr. Rossi continues the story, he passed a disabled car on the side of the road with a young man standing by it. Something touched him at that moment like a message from God to his heart, and he turned his car around to see if he could help. It ended up that the young man on the roadside had a flat tire, but he didn't have any of the tools needed to fix it. So Tim gave him a ride to the next town where they bought the tools, and then they returned to the car. Unfortunately, the tools that they bought didn't work. And the only other option was to drive to the next town, which was actually quite a distance away. But that's what, Tim, that's what Tim did for the man. The second time around, it worked. And after they fixed the tire together, the young man thanked Tim and drove off into the night. Tim simply returned home to his lonely, not lo lonely life and the encounter had taken up his whole night. So why use that story today? Is the key to sainthood one good deed? Perhaps. Who's to say? Who's to judge? We don't know that. Only God knows. But that's not why I shared the story. It's really about what was going on inside Tim during all of this. Instead of getting to the casino as he intended, Tim ended up following God's stirring of his heart and spending his entire night with this young man in need. During their long ride, Tim and the young man talked about their lives. The man noticed that Tim had one of those little ichthys, those little chrome fishes, symbols of Christianity on his dashboard, and he asked if he was a Christian. Tim said, yes, but I'm not a very good one. The young man answered, I don't think I'm a very good Christian either. And then they went and talked about other things, having offered their confession to one another in the quiet of their nighttime ride. Dr. Rossi concluded the story with this description. No doubt the young man knew he had met a human who in the moment of need delivered help. In effect, Tim was a living Christian, a good Samaritan, to the young man in his moment of need. Or on this Sunday of All Saints, could I say at that moment, he was a saint the man was looking for? No doubt Tim lived out his vocation or his calling in life of becoming a healing presence that evening as he was called by the Lord. How do things like this happen? Dr. Rossi explains, it's no accident. 
Christ provides the opportunities for us to have encounters with others. The heart awareness, the heart, H-E-A-R-T, awareness to know what to say and do. Another person to be a healing presence for and the life energy to actually make a difference for another person. That's the story. It's really just about striving. Striving to make a difference in other people's lives as God uses us to share his love. I hope it's simplicity and it's honesty and it's closeness to many of our lives will simply rest on your soul today as you think about it. I will admit, however, before I finish, that my first thought on preparing this message of All Saints Sunday was to offer you a dramatic selection of saints' stories, especially the martyrs, like the ones you heard about in the epistle reading today, that sometimes make us pause in awe as we read them during the Orthro service. There have been many times when George, our Protopsalthis, who I'm so happy to have back today, thank you, George, for being here, that he pauses and I hear his voice tremble or crack because the things that he is reading that happened to the saints are so traumatic and such an evidence of sacrificial love that it's just hard to make them through. Enduring persecution, tortures, and martyrdom beyond human understanding. Truly, still today, to not overlook them, we need to be thankful for their inspiration and the strength they give as we struggle with our own challenges of faith and life. But instead, today I just wanted to share with you that brief story from the ordinary and otherwise unremarkable life of a man that we've called Tim, who, like so many others, weak and struggling in their life and faith, rose to the call of the Lord to be there for someone in need. And in that moment of striving, the beauty of God revealed through him to another. Can we see that beauty in others? Can we see that beauty in others? Can we be that beauty for others? We all know it's there as long as we uncover it. And maybe that's enough of a challenge today in All Saints Sunday. So please allow me to close with a quote from that, about that beauty from Metropolitan Anthony of Soros, who says, unless we look at a person and see the beauty there is in this person, we can contribute nothing to him. Christ looked at everyone he met, at the prostitute, at the thief, I'll say yes, and Tim, and saw the beauty hidden there. Perhaps it was distorted, perhaps it was damaged, but it was beauty nonetheless. And what he did was to call this out, to call out this beauty. In the words of Jesus, go, and do likewise. Amen. Yeah. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach. Draw near and minister to the King of glory to serve you as great and awesome even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and Lord of all. You have entrusted us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You are alone and good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, the vest with the grace of priests, that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. I come without head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, make me a sinful and unworthy servant.
worthy to offer you these gifts for you, Christ, our God of the offer and the offer, the one who receives and is distributed into you, we give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life praying spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia. Mystic reps of the church, the life of Christ, the life of the king. I lay aside all earthly fears, and the life of the United States of the king, as we invest the escort of the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, let us worship God our king and bow down before him. Death, death, proskinisum, kiprospasum, Christotta Vasilike, Theriaman. Come, let us worship bow down to Christ himself, our king and our God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. Come, all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins are before you. Against you, Lord, I have sinned and unto you when you sight me, God, justified me, speak and blameless for your judge. Behold, I was brought forth and iniquity and sin in you. The perfect is punished, you shall wash me, I shall be white and stone, and make you the sound of the joy and gladness of the hands of the Lord, and the Turn your face away from my sins and water and iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and rule right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and follow me the Holy Spirit. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and I'll shout your praise, your desired sacrifice, give me much blood and blood, and such much love, and blood, and blood, and blood, and Heart of God, you will not despise, do good in your good pleasure, to Zion, with all your peace. who love us and those who hate us in peace lift up your hands to the holy places and bless the Lord always now and ever into the ages of ages amen with the sense of the cry of command with the shout of the trumpet of God May the Lord our God re 
remember all of us in his kingdom always now and forever and unto the ages of ages God, remember your priesthood in his kingdom always known over to the ages of ages Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, the faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For remission of our sins and trans forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant Christian end to our lives peaceful without shame and suffering and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ let us ask the Lord, this, o Lord. remembering our most holy pure blessed and glorious lady of Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary of all the saints let's commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God to you Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable to bring us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Lord, my strength, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. The door is the door is in wisdom. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true light of true God, 
begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and was suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures, and they see that at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and for the life of the ages to come. Amen. Amen. Let us... Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive. We may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know, for blessings, seen and unseen, that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying. Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broken, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, the second and glorious coming. Please bow your heads to the end of the next hymn. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. The cyclon son si prospero men catapanda que via panda. Once again we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and entreat you 
send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. And we offer you this spiritual worship for those who are opposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and forever righteous spirit. Especially for our most Saint holy, John, pure, blessed, and glorious Lord, Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. And grant with one voice, one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Have we remember all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. But having prayed for the unity of the faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, 
to dare to call upon you, Heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o endisuranis, aiestito tonomasu, el theto i vasiliasu, genithito to telimasu, o senuranoke epitisis, tonartonimon ton epiusion, dosim in simeron, que afasamin to frimetaimon, os chemis afirmets philetisimon, chemis nengis mas aspirasmon, alarisse i mas lapotoponiru. Oti suest in i vasilia, ke i dinamis, ke i doxa, tu patros, ke tu iuk, tu aiu pnevma, tos nin, ke a i, ke i stus eonas, ton eonon. Amin. Irini pasi. Tas ke falasimon, to kirio klino me. Thanks to Invisible King, by your infinite power you've created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who would hear us from your holy dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom, you are enthroned with high with the Father and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us, let your pure body and your precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand. To us, to all your people, God be merciful. God be merciful. God be merciful. To us. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken, distributed, broken, but not divided. He's forever even and ever consumed by the believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of who I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But as a thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God. My brothers of Christ, forgive me, a sinner. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God. 
to me, John, the unworthy priest, has given the most precious and holy body of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Who's given the most precious holy blood? Our Lord and God, Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and true life, in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me, the unworthy priest and sinner. As we approach for Holy Communion, please uh, listen to the adjusted instructions. As you know, all along the way during this health crisis and pandemic, we have uh, adjusted to and made modifications to allow everybody to participate in a safe way according to the directions of our metropolis, whom we ultimately are responsible for. And so therefore, as we enter the green phase, the following uh, is, is what we will be doing for Holy Communion. So as before, the parish council will escort you. We ask you to please keep your physical distance between you and the person ahead of you, as, as we have been doing. Please remove your mask prior to coming up for Holy Communion. Uh, and after you receive Holy Communion, you may take a piece of Andidaron from the tray. They're all spaced apart there. Uh, and please consume the Andidaron prior to placing your mask on so you do not expel the holy body and blood of Christ into a mask which will either be thrown away or washed. Um, as is stated in the bulletin and as was stated in the email that went out recently, our ecumenical patriarch recently made the following statement. The Mother Church of Constantinople knows empirically from its 2,000 year existence that Holy Communion is the antidote to mortality and remains firm in its orthodox teaching regarding the Holy Eucharist. And as our metropolis has stated as such, we are free to return, parishes are free to return to their customary practice of redistributing and receiving the holy gifts. And so therefore, those of you who would like to remain with the instructions that were provided in the yellow phase of receiving as many of our Slavic Orthodox brothers and sisters do by opening your mouth and leaving it open so we can turn the spoon and drop the holy gifts in, you are free to do that. For some of you that is not comfortable or possible and you would and you would like to receive as you have all your life, you may do that as well. The goal, of course, is to, as St. Paul says in Galatians 6, 2, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the love of Christ, not uh, judging nor, nor um, evaluating anybody else's, anyone else's practices. 
So we may do that together as a Christian community. Those of you who have prepared to receive Holy Communion, we invite you to come forward. The fear of God with faith and with love draw near. Also, please refrain from touching your lips on the cloth. Thank you. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Exalted O God above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Petitions. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly light, giving in us mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path, establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. 
For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift from above cometh from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Please join us as we offer memorial prayers today, 40 days for Anastasia Bayetis, 40 days for Christina Bastolis, three years for George Beckus, and 14 years for Julia Welsh. <coughs> Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes of old. You created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. When I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. I am an image of your ineffable glory, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. On your creation, Master, take pity and cleanse me by your compassion. Grant me the homeland for which I long, and once again make me a citizen of paradise. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the threefold radiance of the one God. Let us praise and let us shout in song. Holy are you, eternal Father, co-eternal Son and divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith. And of Lerufs, deliver us from the eternal fire. <laughs> Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia, glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Doxa Sio Theos. Among the saints, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no suffering, but life everlasting. Meta ton aion anapapson Christe tas psychaston So, Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosen the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. <laughs> Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the departed servants of God. Anastasia, Christina, George, and Julia, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins from Christ our immortal King and God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, O spirits and of all flesh, who have trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give rest to the souls of your servants, Anastasia, Christina, George, and Julia, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of refreshment, a place of repose where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives in the sinless, you alone are without sin, your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord, for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, Anastasia, Christina, George, and Julia, O Christ our God. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, Anastasia, Christina, George, Julia, Christ our God. To the, and to you we give glory, and to your eternal Father, and all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, into <laughs> ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, dear brothers and sisters, you who are worthy of eternal blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Together, please. Eonia Ivnimi Eonia Ivnimi Eonia Avton Ivnimi Yeah. yeah. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and hope glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. Through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless prayers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Cyril, the Bishop of Gortina, the holy prophet Elisha, Basil, the Prosbyter, Proto-Presbyter, John, John and Artemius, Martha, the Presbytera, John, Theodore, and Anna, the martyrs, and Methodius, the confessor, patriarch of Constantinople, whose memories we celebrate this day, and of all the saints whose memory we celebrate on the Sunday of all saints, and of our Father among the John, saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy was celebrated, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. <clears throat> May the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you. Good morning. Ah, oh, what a delight it is to see so many wonderful faces back again. Uh, I welcomed George, our Protopsalti, back uh, this, uh, earlier. I want to also thank and welcome back Eleni Valian, our choir director, who has come back, and of course Steve, who has been with us the entire time. God bless you for all of that. I welcome Father Joseph Gardner and Presbytera Eileen, Arlene, who have joined us this morning. They have been uh, absent for a while, and we're so happy to have them back as well. And, and most of all, just so thankful and happy to see all of you. I thank our parish council for assisting with maintaining the Metropolis guidelines this morning. You that are watching on the internet, welcome. So nice to have you here. We're so glad that you could still join us. Do not let the visuals fool you. It looks like they're all sitting real close to one another. We're, we're distanced horizontally, but the way you're looking at it, it looks like they're too close. This, these, these aisles or these rows are very well spaced from front to back, so no reporting on that. We're doing what we're supposed to do. Um, also, when you leave, if, you'd weren't, if you weren't caught by the parish council coming in to check you off, for, for the membership, like attendance list or whatever, please make sure that they, you see them on the way back. If, the, if someone didn't ask you your name or just check you off when you went in, reason being, during the screen phase, we're still asked to maintain contact tracing. So God forbid anything happens, we know who's been here and who to contact, but we are certainly here in full faith, understanding that is, that is hopefully not a concern of ours. Um, we are also thankful to Marianne Stearns, our parish council, our Philippos president, for uh, setting up the coffee hour today. And we do have it out on the lawn. What a beautiful day God has blessed us with. First and foremost with you all, and second, this beautiful sun and this, this clear sky. So it'll be out on the patio. Again, keep your masks on. I mean, you have to take them off to have your coffee and your biscotti, I suppose. But other than that, keep your distance from one another. It is outdoors. So there's lots and lots of separation space. Um, and then, uh, please, again, after worry for your fellowship, depart to your cars uh, and, and avoid any kind of contact here on the church property that would be in violation of those guidelines. But I think the biggest welcome that I have today after all of those, welcome back to our wonderful seniors who are here with us for the first time. This is not the whole church family without you. And we are so thankful that you are back with us today. I know that according to the instructions provided, you have all received the proper clearances to come back. You've consulted with your medical authorities if you have any questions about that. So everybody is doing what they need to do. We are doing what we need to do. Most of all, God is doing what he always does, and that is just loves us and provides a place for us to gather as his beloved children, sons, and daughters. May the memory of the loved ones we have commemorated today, um, Anastasia, George, uh, Julia and Christina be eternal. And may you have a blessed and safe week. Cronia Pala to our sister community in Cannonsburg, All Saints. His Eminence is there celebrating today. And some of you who may not have heard the news, I'm going to ask you to please keep the proestaminos of that community, Father George Livanos, and my good friend, 
in your prayers. He has been diagnosed with some very serious medical conditions, and we are offering prayers continually for him. I ask you to remember him frequently as well, that God may reach his hand of mercy and healing upon him, may give strength to his family, and also comfort the community as they go through the very difficult situation with their priest of 31 years. So God bless you all. Thank you.